here at Bradley. It's finished 1-0 to Leipzig. Um, it wasn't the easiest game to watch. I know Leipzig created a lot of chances. They dominated the possession. They pressed us high. made it very difficult for us. But it is only 1-0. So what do you make of it? I just think if we can't score today, we're at home. We've got the atmosphere. If we can't score today, we're not going to be able to go there and make chances. I think the rumours... I told you after the semi-final last season. But the rumours of them having no out-and-out centre-back for this game, we should have, we really should have taken advantage of it. But we didn't. We started going long with Bergwijn and Lucas up front, the two smallest players on the pitch, in, in, in my opinion. And honestly, we just didn't make enough chances. I don't understand Mourinho's taxes of going long. Obviously, he likes going long. He likes parking the bus. But going long to two small players just doesn't work. And it's all, it's all because of an idiot upstairs that didn't bring his wallet out, didn't buy a striker in the summer. If we bought a striker in the summer, it would have been a whole completely different story today. Yeah, we've seen, you know, we're paying the price, especially in January as well. Everyone knew Kane being injured, that we needed a striker in January. And now with Son likely, apparently, out for a big chunk of this season, Harry Kane not likely to play again this season. Do you think we're paying the price for that? Yeah, of course we are. And it's, again, as I said, it's all because of Daniel Levy. He doesn't, it's hard to put into words, but he just doesn't, he needs to sell up. And I think if we don't get the, get the money and we don't get the players that we need for this club to push on to the Champions League final and to trophies, we're not going to get anywhere. The Champions League final last season, so it's not, not, it's not like it's not like it's ages away that we were in a Champions League final. But it is only one 0 I know we um, didn't play very well. well. It was a very tough game for us today. Do you think Spurs could have given any more than they gave today on the pitch? Obviously, I know they go out there and give everything to the to the club, but I think we needed to make more subs earlier. We made subs around the 60th minute. I think we needed to make one at half time to make uh, to change the game. And in my opinion, in my opinion, we needed to push on a bit more. We needed to stop coming back every time we defend and getting 11 men behind the ball. We needed to keep Bergvine and Lucas up top. Their defenders weren't that quick, and we knew that because of the way Bergvine sprinted at them. In my opinion. The Aston Villa game changed it all. Son getting injured. Bergfine going up top from corners. I didn't see that today. And it's a whole complete, completely different story than it is to last season. Is there any bright spots for you in terms of uh, players specifically? Anyone to stand out? Who, st who stood out? Lacelso again. He's probably our best player at the moment. I. You can't, you can't give any, any more credit than he has because he's been our best player and he's the only one putting in the effort at the moment. And I feel like more players need to step up like him. He's been here not even eight months of the season and he's already been our best player of the season. And he's still, still predicting... Uh, uh, obviously, I'm going to back my team. I'm going to going to back my team to get to the final but it's going to be it's going to be bloody hard it really is coming on mate Thanks a lot. <laughs>